Uh, so this is the Hope Hacks Housing Affordability. A uh, short video on how this makes money, the cause of structural vacancies, and uh, how pricing better using hours of your time can, in theory, in a free market, um, make a profit and reduce structural vacancies at the same time. So to understand how this is, and it's an incredible claim, um, is I need you to imagine an economic thought experiment. So we're going to hold some things constant and uh, assume some weird things that aren't true in real life. Like in real life, you know, people can shop around. Not all units are worth exactly the same. Some are better, some are worse. Uh, some people have different commutes. Lots of different things happen. Uh, so we're going to limit our variables, though, to what we define here. Uh, and we say this economic experiment has uh, one landlord, has three units, all the same, to rent to three people. One person makes $10 an hour. One person makes $50 an hour. And one person makes $250 an hour. In this thought experiment, the apartment is worth the same 50 hours a month of effort in value to everyone equally. That's about a third of income approximately. Here's the question. How much should the seller charge for the apartment on the rooms for rent ad? Now we've got five options it looks like here and some summary material. Um, I'll probably only cover the first few options. Um, advertise the rent at 500. Let's try that one. Uh, the poor person works 50 hours to pay for the housing and makes zero hours profit. The middle income person works 10 hours to pay for the housing and makes 40 hours profit. The rich person works two hours to pay for housing and makes 48 profit, hours profit. The apartment is worth the same 50 hours a month of effort in value to everyone equally. Okay. That's not very fair, but that's what it is. Uh, the landlord profit equals 1,500, uh, that's 1 at 500 plus 1 at 500 plus 1 at 500. Okay, don't know what that means. Uh, B, advertise the rent at $2,500. Um, the poor person works 250 hours to pay for the housing and is homeless, leaving the unit vacant. Yeah, because you can't work 250 hours a month to pay for your monthly housing. Um, the middle income person works 50 hours to pay for the housing and makes zero hours profit. The rich person works 10 hours to pay for the housing and makes 40 hours profit. The landlord in this scenario, the landlord profit equals $5,000 because uh, that's one at 2,500 plus one at 2,500 and one at zero dollars because no sell vacant unit. Uh, yeah, the homeless person didn't rent. So th remember, this is a economic experiment. One landlord, three units, all the same to rent to three people. Um, I guess you only get one bid, right? You can't, like, renegotiate or something, or you can't change your price later. And so let's look at this one. Uh, C, advertise the rent at $12,500. <laughs> yeah, some places in San Francisco, the rent's that high, right? Um, the poor person works 1,250 hours to pay for the housing and is homeless, leaving <laughs> the unit vacant, yeah. There's no way a homeless person, a poor person in San Francisco can afford $12,500. Um, the middle income person has to work 250 hours to pay for the housing and is homeless, leaving the second unit vacant. Yeah, I guess so. 
The rich person works 50 hours today for the housing unit and makes zero hours profit. Yeah, a rich person will pay 12500 if they have no better choice. If it's that or don't live in San Francisco, <laughs> um, they'll pay 1250 12500 all the time. Uh, landlord profit equals $12,500. That's one at 12,500 plus one vacant plus one at zero dollars vacant, no sell. So this is interesting, right? Because the highest profit for the landlord is if he has two vacant units, he's not even renting. So in this economy, the landlord is incentivized to create vacancies. It seems like that actually does happen. Uh, there is no shortage of housing at 20% of your income for people who make $350,000 a year. They can get housing quite easily. Uh, poor people, on the other hand, experience um, a great shortage of housing. So housing equality is not distributed equally. Um, and neither are pri should prices be. Prices should be distributed equally. But how would you do such a thing? Um, well, you could advertise the rent at 50 hours of time. 50 hours of your personal time. And I wish this would go away. No, I don't want details either. Stupid Max. Um, calculate dollar price. I wish Microsoft would pay to buy me something that worked better for their videos. Hint, hint, if Microsoft is watching this. Um, where would your sponsoring dollars go? Um, it would go to showing off Microsoft. Sucks. Or it would go to show off Microsoft is awesome. Kind of depends. Anyways, uh, option D. Advertise the rent at 50 hours of your personal time. Calculate dollar price based on a person's individualized dollar per hour rate. The poor person works 50 hours to pay for housing and makes zero hours profit. The middle class person works 50 hours to pay for housing and makes zero hours profit. The rich person works 50 hours to pay for the housing and makes zero hours profit. Landlord profit equals $16,000. That's even higher and that's one at $12,500, one at $2,500, and one at $500. So this is interesting. We, we have this solution here, right? Which really says, for this economic thought experiment, that The landlord can make more money and reduce structural vacancies at the same time and reduce inequality at the same time, financial inequality, right? Because now the poor person is paying less. This is like a graduated income index pricing system. And you can conveniently advertise that, right? You could advertise that as uh, 50 hours or 20% of your income per month. 50 hours of your time based on your hourly rate. Okay, yeah. 50 hours of your personal time. The landlord makes the most money. And the Hope Hacks Housing Affordability uh, project at this URL here. You can uh, 
type that in. Um, this talks more about my experience trying to implement this on Craigslist. <laughs> Not easy, um, but maybe exciting if you like hearing about that sort of thing. Uh, so thank you for your time. I'm going to stop the video now.